Hi, I'm Chris Nail, superintendent of the BB School District, and we are excited to bring you another episode of The Badger Talk. This week, we're going to talk about our value of growth and highlight two of our highest performing seniors, Edward Holtz and Carly Holland. And we're also going to talk to you a little bit about our On to College program. Hey, uh, my name is Edward Holtz, and I got a 34 on the ACT. Some of the tips that kind of helped me prepare for the ACT is a lot of test prep, but it's also a lot of time management. Make sure that you're prepared for kind of taking the easy stuff first, preparing for the hard stuff, especially with the math. It's easy, then it's hard, then it's easy again. So if you get to the hard questions, just skip to the end. It gets easier there, usually. Um, a big encouragement for me was Miss White. Uh, there was some things with fractions that I was kind of confused with, believe it or not. So I went to her with some help specifically in that area, and she helped me a lot. And I'm sure that she'd be down to help you too. ACT is really good for college and stuff. You can get it almost completely paid for if you get a high score. If you don't think you're really going to be able to go to college without assistance like that, make sure that you study hard. You're going to need it. My plans are either to go to college to be a forensic psychologist in order to work with the FBI, or I can also go into criminal defense in law. Hi, my name is Carly Holland and I'm at a 33 on the ACT. I attribute my success is to a lot of my teachers like Coach Hall. I know that whenever I first started taking the ACT, my reading and my English scores were always the lower ones, like they were always below 30s while my other scores were at 30, above 30. And so being able to, her teaching us the correct grammar use for the writing and how to time manage on our reading really helped me a lot to get my score up. And I would also say thank you to Miss White because she was able to refine those math skills that we needed for the ACT. I would say when taking the ACT, it's, we've been taking standardized tests our entire lives. This one's no different. We've been taking the benchmark when we were in kindergarten. We were taking the ACT Aspire just to a few years ago. So whenever you're going into the ACT, just breathe. It's not going to define who you are. A score does not define who you are. You can still get your college paid for even if you don't have the highest score. So just breathe when you go in there and just watch your time. And if you don't know the question, just skip it and come back to it later because not every question is scored. And if so, if you don't get that one right or don't get that one answered, it's not gonna be the end of the world. My future plans is I'm planning on attending UCA this upcoming fall in hopes to get a bachelor's in accounting and a certificate in data analytics so that I can be a CPA. And I'm also going to go ahead and pursue my master's in accounting. At BB High School, we've set a goal of raising our ACT composite score to 22 and uh, we have undertaken a new initiative to try to help all of our students uh, get to college and uh, get money for college. The name of the program we're using is On to College, and every junior in BB High School has been enrolled in that through their advisory class. Um, On to College is an interactive computerized program that uses videos and quizzes to help students uh, identify their weaknesses and overcome them and we're very hopeful raise their composite score to the level they need. Um, for those students who aren't going to college, um, even though it's called on to college, it still can be a great benefit. Um, ACT identifies minimum scores for college and career readiness. And so even those students who are not trying to get a certain ACT score, in preparation for college can still greatly benefit from this program. We're very excited about it. We hope that your students will take it seriously and that you'll talk to them about how important this can be for their future. And if you have any questions about that, you certainly can contact your junior's advisory teacher or just call the office at BB High School and they'll put you in touch with someone who can answer all your questions. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of the Badger Talk. Here at BB Schools, we're committed to growing minds, caring hearts, and willing hands.